flying the TBM 940 from Nassau, Bahamas over to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Let's go. All right, welcome aboard the TBM 940 here in Nassau in the Bahamas. We'll start this thing up. We're here at Odyssey Aviation. So use pump coming on. Clear outside. We'll turn the starter on for two seconds. It's the toggle switch. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Release. Now, it's already started an automatic timer for us. Introduce fuel as the NG is stabilized to low idle. Now we're watching for a light off. Right now we got the ITT prominent under the display. We got the NG up here looking for hot start and hung starts. Either of those, we would abort the uh, start cycle immediately. Looking good. Temped out at 733 degrees Celsius. It's winding back down. We're gonna get our secondary fuel nozzles kick in right there. And a good start. Good start. We got our clearance in the uh, flight planning room inside there. I'm gonna go over to Port Lauderdale Executive, direct Peach for the Kayak 3 arrival. We're gonna climb attain 4,000, expect 1, 4,000. After that, we're gonna squawk 0014 transponder. There we go. Where you have the uh, whole flight plan set up in the systems of the airplane here. Yeah, it's on ground, number 949 Bravo Zulu over at Odyssey with Juliet Ray Taxi. November 949 Bravo Zulu, Nassau ground. Taxi via Lima, hold short 32, tower 19.5. Lima, hold short 32, over to well, monitor tower, over 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, we've got our taxi clearance here. Give them a quick flash of the taxi lights. It's telling us to go straight ahead. Clear off the left wing, clear off the right. And there we go, to the right. Rear, really nice crew here at Odyssey. They do a great job here. So yeah, I'd like to welcome everybody on board. This is an exciting day to be flying back from the Bahamas back to Fort Lauderdale Executive. If you like these videos, go, 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 be sure go, to go, smash go, the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel. Charlie, Check our flight controls, we've got the wings out there. This is the pivot system I got mounted, iPad Mini 6. And with the discount link in the description below, you can save 15% if you want to mount like this for your uh, airplane. So here we are in Lima, and right up in front of here is 3-2, and we'll monitor tower. This airplane has the auto throttle system, which will arm as soon as we get lined up on the runway. It's an amazing system. Nassau Tower, number 949, Bravo Zulu, holding short at 32 in Lima. Climber 9049, Bravo Zulu, Nassau Tower, Roger, hold short. Holding short 32, 949, Bravo Zulu. Devo. Hello. Yeah, got a little shot out there, that's pretty cool. Thanks for following along. So I've also partnered with Pilot Institute, pilotinstitute.com. This is uh, my job, I do this as a part-time job. If you would like to fly your planes for fun or as a career, you can start your training right from home. They have a lot of free courses and a lot of paid courses to get you through your ratings. Yeah, you click in the description below, you have that linked. Makes it really convenient and easy to start your training right from the comforts of your home. Look down here at the uh, iPad. See, there we are in the uh, chart. Target 401, runway 32 and 330 at 15 knots, glad to land. DBM expected to depart Lima Prior Rebel. Runway 32, glad to land, let's get 401. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, line up and wait, runway 32. Line up and wait, runway 32, 949 Bravo Zulu. 
All right, cleared to line up and wait. Cleared out the runway, that guy's vacating. And final is clear. November 904, Nana, Bravo, Zulu, no delay, runway 32, fly from heading, clear for takeoff. No delay, clear for takeoff, runway 32, no, 949, Bravo, Zulu. All right, we're going to arm the auto throttle. There we go. We're going to ease the power up. I hear a click. There it is. Takeoff power is set. Well, temperature pressures all look good in the green. Holding our center line with the rudder pedals, looking for our rotation speed. There it is. Pull back. Tap the brakes. Yeah, we still have some remaining runway out here in front of us, if you see. So we're just going to wait till we run out of that. There we go, and we'll go gear selected up. That way, if we had a problem, we need to come back and land. The gear would have still been down, but we ran out of usable runway there. And gear is up. And we're going to go flaps up and yaw damper on. November 904, 90 Bravo, Zulu, contact departure 120. Low departure, 949, Bravo, Zulu, good day. Good day. Autopilot on, climate flow low change mode, and we'll go over to departure frequency. Look at the view off 20 our 20 left 20 wing. 20 20 20 Beautiful. Beautiful view of the island. Yes, uh, good afternoon, November 949 Bravo Zulu, 2000, climbing 4000. November 949 Bravo Zulu, now for departure. Radar contact, climbing maintain 12000, direct peach. 12000, direct peach, 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, there we go, 12,000. Set up in our altitude pre-selector. And we're gonna go direct peach. And into nav mode. And we can put the armrest down, get a little comfortable here. There we go. And we're about to go into a cloud here. It's always fun when you get your instrument rating to go fly in and out of clouds. Yeah, a twin auto off to your left, uh, south westbound, leaving 1300 feet. There we go, popped out of that. Look off the left wing, beautiful view as we go above the cloud layer here. We yeah, can actually sure sync up the uh, heading bug. So, right now, normally you'd have to sure, turn the heading right, bug to keep it always synced up. But with this 940, uh, which I showed my one of my last videos, Roger, you push and hold it, contact, it goes into sync mode and the heading bug will stay synced up at your 12 o'clock there, no matter what heading you're on or course you're on while you're in nav mode. So that way, if you got to go into heading mode, you don't have to worry about syncing it up. You just go to push heading and you go right into that mode and it'll be perfectly synced up. Nice and smooth now that we got above this layer. Just to the west here, we have Andros Island, which is one of the biggest islands off our left wing. There's not a lot to do out there. You do have bone fishing, which is pretty big out there. And up to the north, we have Grand Bahama Island. And over to the right over there, you'd have the Abacos. And we're going through 10,000 feet. Turn our landing light off, pressurization, even though it's all automatic. We'll still monitor, make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. We have a cabin altitude of 2,500 feet. A diff pressure of 3.4. And our cabin is climbing at a rate of 610 feet per minute. You can see there's a routing in there today. The Chi X3 arrival, 1,000 to go. 1,000 climbing into 1, 2,000. November 947, Bravo Zulu, Miami Center, 125.7. 125.7, 949, Bravo Zulu, good day. All right, now we're on with Miami. We'll check on. Miami, good afternoon. Our 949, Bravo Zulu, level now at 12,000, direct peach. November 949, Bravo Zulu, Miami Center, climb and maintain 14,000, the NASA altimeter 3000. 00, we'll climb and maintain 14,000, 949, Bravo Zulu. So we put 14,000 in our altitude pre-selector. We're going to do a flight level change mode where we have it pre-selected to climb at 124 knots. So the airplane's going to pitch back to climb at 124 knots, right on up to 14,000. Anyway, now we can turn our inertial separator off. So right down by my left knee, there's a little toggle switch. Uh, there's two flaps up there in the intake that are redirecting the air, so we're going to get more air into our engine, which now we're going to get an so ITT drop. Bravo Zulu, proceed direct kayak. Direct kayak, 949 Bravo Zulu. So we're going to get an ITT drop, torque rise with that, but what's nice with the auto throttle, it'll manage that, so we don't have to worry about that. 
And we're going to go direct kayaks. Direct. Activate direct two. And since we're in nav mode, now we're going to turn right on over direct kayak. So now that the airplane is planed out, we're gaining airspeed. We do have a 50 knot direct headwind coming right at us. Winds 285 at 50. And if you look down here at the iPad, this is our routing now that we've got direct kayaks. About one four thousand feet. And look at all the TFRs that are going to be tomorrow with President Biden in town. There's a million different TFRs in South Florida. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that today. But that's where we are. We've got the Barry Islands and Shub Key just to the north of us right here. And St. Andros, and Andros Island, all right down here to the south of us. We'll be going right past Bimini. There's Bimini. And to stay ahead of this flight, look down here, we'll go to destination, waypoint info, frequencies. We'll put the ATIS in active of COM2, and we'll do ground frequency in the standby of COM2. And you can also check the weather there, METAR decoded. There's the weather at Fort Lauderdale Executive, winds. 3 0 And everything you can see right there. Clear day with the clouds and 18 3 degrees Celsius. Visibility 10 miles. And since we did that with the uh, frequencies over here in COM2, they're all set up. Pretty cool feature. It's always good to be able to stay ahead of the flight. Staying ahead of the flight makes flying a whole lot easier. Hope you guys got your passports today with you. If you did, I don't know what we're going to do with you. We're going to have to drop you off in the Bahamas here. But yeah, since we are flying an international flight today, we're going to have to go to Customs at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Can't bring the cameras in there, so we'll have to bypass that on our little video here. But we're going to open up all the baggage compartments on the airplane. Go in there. I uh, filed my E-APIS, outbound and inbound. Seven, and nine, four, nine, four, nine, I mean, good afternoon, or 949 Bravo Zulu, 14,000 direct kayaks. 949 Bravo Zulu, Miami Center, followed up similar, 3004. 04. So yeah, on top of filing the uh, e apices inbound and outbound, I also called Fort Lauderdale Executive Customs and gave it a, a notice of arrival, my tail number, where I'm coming in from, and one U.S. citizen on board. That's the procedure to get back in. Got my passport, I'll check in, check your bags, make sure you're not smuggling anything. If you have, have over $10,000 in cash, you got to report that. If I was out here gambling and I won over $10,000, you'd have to tell them about that money. We also have Sudden Fund coming up here uh, near the beginning of uh, April in Lakeland, Florida. It's a great aviation event. I'll be there all week. I believe I'll have a meetup at Pilot Institute's display there. So be sure to go to steveo1kinevo.com for the meetup schedule. Yeah, Southern Fun's a great week-long event there at Lakeland, Florida. This year they have the main act is the Thunderbirds, which I'm really excited to see, as I went up with them at Southern Fun a few years ago. I have a video on that whole experience. But yeah, Southern Fun coming up here in April. I look forward to seeing any of you guys that are gonna be there. And if you look down at the iPad here, this is the arrival with all the different step-downs before kayaks. And if you go to page two, this is where you see kayaks. And then right up here is where it shows you if you're landing at Fort Executive Pompano, you go up to Lourdes, 4,000 feet. And off of that would be a 320 heading. And then you have your notes down here. That's the uh, Kayaks 3 arrival. And to stay ahead of this flight, I bet you we could probably almost start to hear uh, the ATIS there at Fort Executive. We'll monitor COM2. Wind 330 at 12, gust 190, visibility 10, number 6, 5, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, all aircraft feedback runway assignment and hold for instruction. On initial contact, advise you of 80 information Delta. For a lot of the executive time information Delta, 
2057 Zulu, wind 33012, gust one niner, visibility one zero, sky condition clear. All right, we monitored the ATIS there. We got Delta. Every hour, the air, an airport will put out uh, information, and you can give it an identifier. And on this hour, we have Delta, so when we check in, they know we have the latest information. I don't know, so we have two options. We could land a full auto executive on runway 31 or 27. The winds are out of the north, northwest. I don't know, what do you guys want me to do today? You would rather see me do a stronger crosswind landing on 27 or take the easier way of runway 31? I say we do the more challenging landing with the crosswind. We'll see what they give us. If they give us 27, we'll have a challenging crosswind landing. And if they give us 3-1, we'll just have a basically a nice wind right down the runway. From time to time, it is nice to test your skills on challenging crosswind landings to keep your skill level sharp. Number 949 or Bravo Zulu, cross kayaks at 4,000. Cross kayaks at 4,000, 949 Bravo So they want us to cross kayaks at 4,000 feet. So I put 4,000 at kayaks and with our descent profile. And our top of descent is in two minutes and 38 seconds. And there's also a TOD, which is on our map right here. Right here, coming up. So that'll give us a heads up and when we're supposed to start down. Yeah, we put 4,000 in our altitude pre selector. Okay. And we are in the VNAV. Coming up on Bimini here. I don't know if you can see out the front window. It's right off the nose below those clouds. Fortunately, we're not getting too good of a view with it with the clouds and the sun. Vertical track. There we go. So it's saying top of descent within one minute. See it flashing right here. You can see it coming down right here. Once it gets down, it'll capture and we'll go around down to 4,000 feet to cross kayaks at that altitude restriction. Number 650 off the Delta. There we go. So we got the path capturing with our VNAV. There we go. We're going to start right on down from 14,000 to 4,000 in the VNAV mode. It's a whole different way of doing things compared to VS. Normally at VS and then scroll the wheel down to whatever it was calling for, 1,300 feet, but with the VNAV, we put in 4,000 over kayaks, and then we arm the VNAV with the VNAV button right there. Yeah, the automation with the G3000 avionics package, with the touchscreen displays down here, it is an amazing system. And down here by my left knee, we're going to turn the inertial separator back on, so pushing the button. And right off our left wing, I can see the Bimini Airport down there on the South Island. A lot of great snorkeling around Bimini. Got some old airplane crashes. There's our inertial separator on. Just came on the cast. You got some shipwrecks that you can go snorkeling around on. It's a great place to explore right down here at Bimini. And checking our pressurization as we're going through 10,000 feet. Looks good. The landing light back on. It's a windy day down there. I don't see too many boats. If you look off the left wing, see the waves and looking right over here on the uh, screen you can see there's our current VNAV profile 4,000 kayaks time to bottom of descent four minutes and seven seconds FPA at negative three degrees target VS of 12.79 and required is 12.80 right hold perfect so that's yeah, looking good a VNAV profile how to work the VNAV system on this makes planning your descent so so easy. Start to see the shoreline out there, the far distance of Florida. Let's see, how far are we from the shoreline? Currently just about 35 miles. Radios have been really quiet here today. Yeah, it's 1,000 to go, 5,000 to sink to 4,000. I've flown this route so many times throughout my life, I know all the frequencies by heart. Next frequency will be 28.6. And there we are in our turn. Our kayaks going up towards. Bright sunshine right off our left wing. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, contact approach 128.6. 28.6, 949 Bravo Zulu, good day. And just as anticipated, that is our next frequency. Bravo Zulu. And 949 Bravo Zulu, just checking on 4000. 949 Bravo Zulu, my approach to maintain 3000, advising you of Ada Charlie, expect the RNF 27. 
Bravo. Advise Charlie down to 3,000, 949 Bravo. 3,000, VSA. 1,000 feet of it down. It's a private airport. Well, it's and we actually have airport. As long as Delta. You before, yeah, you can use it as much as you want. And we do that he's an uh, hour behind on his uh, uh, you can try it that way, identifiers, but he'll tell me of Delta. Uh, AD or the, uh, like a note I wanted to. Five eight nine nine four nine Bravo Zulu. We have Delta. Thank you. A lot of sharks 7, 7, down there. Correct. Sure, seven eighty kind of confirmed. When I go offshore fishing, I just have no on. And you catch a fish, you can get sharked a lot. Where the sharks will come and try to eat your catch. It's kind of frightening to think when you look down there. All the predators that will eat us if we go down right here. Thankfully, we got a life raft. November nine four nine Bravo Zulu, kind of by me approach one one hundred point seven. Nineteen seven. 949 Bravo Zulu. Find me, good afternoon, 949 Bravo Zulu, 3000. 9 Bravo Zulu, approach, hello. TBO 9 Bravo Zulu, descend to maintain 2000, speed 170 or less. 2000, 170 on the speed, 949 Bravo Zulu. 2000, VSA down. We're going to go into manual mode with the uh, auto throttle. This is what's so nice. Tangle, Dial it right back to 170. 0.05. So there we go. We have 2,000 set in our altitude pre-selector and 170 knots on the speed. And it is bumpy. It's 1,000 to go. Yeah, the author of this is amazing. It's going to manage that speed right to back to 170 knots. And I know our next frequency will be the tower. 120.9. We'll put that set up in COM 1 and our next frequency, so that way when they tell us to go to tower, we just hit one button instead of a bunch of buttons. Like I said, always staying ahead of the flight is key, making things easier. There we go, we're looking good, we're leveling out at 2,000 feet right here, 200 feet to go, capturing. And we're right at 170 knots on the speed. Look at the, look at the waves down there. Keep your high brow zoo, turn left, direct 4 2, cross 4 2 at 2000, clear the RNAV 27. Direct 4 2, cross 4 2 at 2000, clear for the RNAV 27, 949 brow zoo. Good afternoon, Miami. You want to make a 24 zoo? All right, so. Direct 4 2. There we go, we're in nav mode. Possible. So we're going to actually go into approach mode, because we are cleared for the approach. Got okay, the front there, you can the see the shoreline a little bit better now. And if you look down here at the uh, approach plate, here we are, blinking away, coming up on Forsu. This is the RNAV 27 approach, the plate that I have on the iPad. So yeah, we got the uh, runway today, it's going to be more of the crosswind runway for the landing, so it's the more challenging runway, so I know that's what you guys would want to see. You don't want to see me have the easy runway. That's no fun. TBM 9 Bravo Zulu, reduced to final approach speed. Reduced to final approach speed, 949 Bravo Zulu. Alright, so they want us to slow it up. We'll slow it up. And since we're under a fur, just notch a flap speed. We're going to go take off. Flap setting selected. And it is indicated. TBM 9 Bravo Zulu, expect a or correction contact tower on 120.9 reduced to final approach speed. Reduced to final approach speed, order tower 949 Bravo Zulu. Second tower, good afternoon, order 949 Bravo Zulu. We are on the RNAV 27. 904 at 900 Bravo Zulu, second tower, only 27. Continue traffic holding in position. Traffic are falling over the shoreline at Sky 1300. They are circling to runway 31. Roger, we'll be looking for that traffic, continuing for 27, 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, we're going to go gear selected down. And exact tower, good afternoon, November 5572, just over downtown, inbound, full stop. And down to green. They want us to slow it up, so we're going to slow up our speed here. Once we get our 122 knots, we can go full flaps. There we go, go flaps selected to full. Good afternoon, exact aspect. And even though you select something, you always make sure it indicates. Delta. Indicating. Now we go right back to 85 knots with our auto throttles, what we're going to set. We'll do 87 with the, uh, the crosswind, the wind gusty winds. I'm trying to look for that traffic, but it is super bright out. We got a little bit of a salty haze from the Bahamas out there on our windows. Looking though. It's hard to see him out there. Okay, I actually have him in sight. It's going to be really hard for you guys to see him, but I have the guy circling to tree one in sight. And we are on the RNAV 27. 
Now, number seven, Joey Papa, make a straight in runway 31. You're falling at Cessna on a right base. Oh, look at the uh, shoreline around here, the beach. Oh, the waves crashing up on it. Great view. Not too many people swimming with the wind and the waves. But 9 10 5, contact ground. 9 Bravo Zulu, runway 27, clear to land. Traffic landing, runway 31, will hold short of the intersection. Wind 33012, gust 18. Clear to land, 27, 949 Bravo Zulu. And hey, you got downtown Fort Lauderdale to the left wing out there. Contact my departure. I think we're down to 396 on this approach if we're in the clouds. Another airplane is landing on 31. They're going to be holding short of 27. Even though they've been told that, I'm still monitoring, watching that over there in case for some reason they were to blow through that. I'm prepared to uh, take action. Right, so let's say I want to hand fly now. So we're just going to go with my left thumb, push up. Now we've disconnected the autopilot. Y'all damn is still on and my auto throttle is still on. So I'm getting a feel for the airplane, but still having the airplane manage a few things with my throttle and the odd damper. Minimums, minimums. There it goes, minimums. Wind 30012, gust 17. Take off the odd damper so I can get my feet on the pedals. I still have the auto throttle on. That's helped me manage my 85 knots. Now that we're getting a little closer, we're going to disconnect the auto throttle, which is with my middle finger here on the... Uh, Auto lever. Auto throttle. There we go. Maintain maximum forward. Miami sector and the challenge is at about 10 miles northeast. So now we're in complete control of the airplane. Okay, maximum forward. Looking good. We're going to hold that crab angle. So we've got some birds coming up right in front of us. Now I'm going to ease the power back to Plato, holding the crab. Kick the crab out. Airspeed. And there we go. We had a little bit of a bounce on that one. I guess not every landing can be 100% perfect. Back into beta. We'll exit at November. And we'll go over to ground as soon as they tell us. Yeah, we did a little bit of a bounce on that one. I mean, for the most part, I get pretty smooth landings, but can't get lucky all the time. And we'll cross the whole short lines here. Go to the ground and clean up the plane. There we go. Just got to make sure our whole airplane is crossed to full Troy. There we go. Come to a stop. Clean up the plane. Go to the ground. Ground over 949 Bravo Zulu, clear of 27 on November, did you go to customs? 949 to Bravo Zulu, take the contact TV on November, Golf Golf 7 to customs. November, Golf Golf 7 to customs. 949 Bravo Zulu. Alright, welcome to Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. That was a fun flight. Glad that you guys were able to join me on that. So right now we're on November, Golf 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 7 right in the customs. Go up over the gate here to Beta. That way I don't have to ride the brakes with this airplane. See if we go back forward, there's above the click you'll get, now we're at flight idle, but you'd have to ride the brakes now, because you're going to gain momentum, but go back, pull up on the levers down here, pull up back in the beta, and that changes the prop angle, and it uh, slows the plane up so you don't have to ride the brakes. Thankfully, we remembered we have to go to customs. And an executive jet center is where we're going to go after that, which is right off the left wing over there. And I got my notice of arrival set, and we are right on, one minute away from when I told them we were going to be here. So right here is Golf 7. And right out there in front of us is United States Customs at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Really enjoyed having you on board. I look forward to seeing you guys on a future flight. We're going to actually go right over next to the caravan and point into the wind. That's actually Watermakers, my old job right there. Look at that, got a whole bunch of new airplanes that they've brought on board. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys someday soon. Take care, everybody. Six, seven, one, my kilo, I know I put you there. Cross runway 27 at Delta X with that traffic, uh, mile and a half.